Okay, welcome back. We're in part two of lesson three of the Build Your Own Business website tutorial series. In this part of the lesson, we'll go through the process of the initial configuration of WordPress. But first, we need to log in to our dashboard. So again, we come over, open up a new window, type in our website address, www.byobtutorial.com. That brings us to this, our home page for the moment. Select Site Admin. Since we were just there, it brings us to our dashboard. Uh, if we had been logged out properly, it would have brought us to the login screen. But here we are in our dashboard. And we're going to work over here today, down here in the Settings section. So go ahead and click on that to open the settings. And go directly to the General. So now this says Blog Title and Tagline. And now, we're actually showing you not how to set up a blog, but how to set up a business website. So for blog here, you can just read website title. And we've given the website a title that was Build Your Own Business Website Tutorials when we created the site earlier. Now we want to give it a tagline. Now, every new WordPress site has this just another WordPress web blog as its tagline. And it's important for you to change that as this tagline is important because it's one of the things that Google indexes, and so it should be a descriptive, keyword-rich statement. It should be a short descriptive sentence that describes what the website is about. And in this case, I'm going to put down, learn how to build, manage, and maintain your own business website. Now, if you're not really ready for this step, it doesn't matter that much because you can come back and change this in the general settings anytime you want. But it should be done relatively early on in the development process because once Google notices your website, it's going to index that immediately. And you definitely don't want to say just another WordPress weblog. Okay, next we come down to the addresses. Now, the WordPress address here, of course, is www.byobtutorial.com or yourdomainname.com. And so is the uh, blog address. The email address, though, we definitely need to change. And so I'm going to put in rick at byobwebsite.com. Now, under membership and membership roles, we're not going to let anybody register at the moment. And we will leave the default user role as subscriber. Now we get down to time and date. The easiest way to set the time zone is just to pick a city that you know is in the same time zone as you are. So these cities are in alphabetical order, so at the very top of them is Africa. Scroll down a little bit down to get down to Americas. And then I'm going to select Los Angeles. Oddly enough, there is no Seattle. And the date format, January 6, 2010, I'm happy with, so we won't change that at all and neither will we change the time. We'll go ahead and leave the week starts on Monday and we'll select save changes. Okay, now that we've made this, these general changes, we can take a look and see what has changed on our site. So if you come up here to the upper left hand corner and you right click on that and open link in a new tab, you can see the new website build your own business website tutorials and now it has the tagline learn how to build manage and maintain your own business website okay so our initial configuration of WordPress is now complete and that brings us to the end of the second part of lesson three in the next part of this lesson we'll learn how to log into our dashboard without access to this handy little login button